Hello and welcome to Driver Speedboat Paradise. Really? Paradise really needed to use that word in there? Do you think you're born out? Anyhow, uh, this is a game by Ubisoft. Uh, it's based on the famous Driver series of games, obviously, but um, it's kind of strange because you're playing in boats. I've never seen a Driver game with boats before, and it's on mobile phones. Anyhow, um, there, Chris is down or something, okay? She's her mechanic. Um, we don't really care about what she's saying right now. We just want to get into the water. Now, it'll be really interesting to see how they animate the water. That's always a nice thing to see in games, um, especially in mobile. It'll be really nice if you actually accomplish it well. Uh, let's see what they do though. Um, it's pretty new. This game's pretty new. Um, I think it just came out a few days ago, so uh, interesting. It is by Ubisoft, so we'll just wait for the microtransaction. The graphics are looking really nice in the background there right now. Uh, let's get into it, please. Um, let's let's do tap to steer, uh, left and right. And holy crap, you have to. Yeah, that's not right, man. <laughs> like the gas is in the middle, then you have to. Oh no, no, no. Let's change that actually. Um, Controls or settings? Controls. Uh, tilt to steer. That works. Nice. Nice to see they have support for the game pads and stuff too. I should get one of those at some point. Um, let's resume. So does it... Yeah, it accelerates automatically. Why couldn't it accelerate automatically when we had a uh, tap to steer? Strange. Anyhow. Yeah, like I was saying. Really nice looking graphics. Really nice looking sun in the background and everything. And the water actually is animated really nice. Let's, let's take a closer look at that. What what happened? Okay, boost, yeah, sure. Um, let's take a closer look at the water whenever a boost is done. Oh, we don't care about boost. Do we have a brake button? Yeah, we do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This might just have been the brake button and not the accelerator in the top of the steer. Anyhow, I, I like the, uh, the steering on this anyway, so let's keep it. Oh, yeah, look at the waves in the water. Oh, man, that, that's so false, the, the acceleration he got through the jump there. That's not that's not physics at all, but um, anyhow, look at the waves in the water. This is on an Android phone. That's really, really good looking. That's really good. That's amazing. It's really nice, always nice to see developers use the power of these tools nowadays. They have the power and they should, the power should be used. And these guys are using it so far. It's Ubisoft. I mean, you'd expect them. You wouldn't expect less. I mean, but you will get some crappy games out of big developers once in a while. Well, often, sometimes. But anyhow, look at the screen splashes and stuff. That's a plane overhead. Yeah, that's not realistic, the, the boost that he gets when he jumps there. <laughs> we would have run run into that bridge. But, um, yeah, that one's kind of programmed to do that. But, yeah, I can't stop looking at the waves in the water. Just look at it. That's really cool. That's really, really nice looking. And the, um, the graphics in the background and everything looks pretty nice as well. Um, I'm not sure how the multiplayer aspect of this is, if it does have a multiplayer. But yeah, again, look at the waves. We were just bursting through the waves. Like, literally, we were just bursting through the waves. That's really freaking nice. Anyhow, so we have police in this now. Okay. Yeah, the driver games always had police systems. Um, we won. It's still a tutorial, though. But um, anyhow, let's get on with it. Really excited about the graphics in this game. We are going to get crappy microtransactions, though. We know that. We have accepted that. <laughs> but really, oh, you can flip as well. Interesting. But yeah, um, let's see how this microtransaction is going to work. Let's try to figure that out. We have boats here. Still tutorializing, so uh, let's let's see how this goes. Um, that's a level 3 boat. We're going to buy that one. Okay. So we got an achievement for that. <laughs> Customization. We're still in the tutorial, but we're getting achievements. That's how achievements work nowadays. Um. And we can paint it any color we like. I really hate the way she pops up on the screen though. That's a bit annoying. Uh, it could have been like a little bubble over here or something. Oh, you can actually swivel around the view. Um, okay. What's happening? I'm not even paying attention to her. I just want to see the boat. I just... Like most people can figure this stuff out on their own, you know. But this tutorial just insists on showing you every every little bit. But yeah, that's that was fuel. We used 10 fuel to get into that game. So yeah, that's how it's going to work. It's going to use fuel, which has a timer. Which at some point we know is going to tell us, you can't play yet, just wait 15 minutes. Either that or pay $2. That's how it works. That's really sad, but um, when, you do, when you do get around to playing it, the graphics won't disappoint. That's one thing. It really looks good. That's, I've got to admit that I don't support the microtransactions in any way, but the graphics alone should be enough for anyone to check this game out. And now we have actual AI racers. <laughs> yeah, it keeps getting better. Like This could have easily been just a time game. 
like you know for, for this kind of graphics i just yeah go to the checkpoint in this time but nope we have an actual racing mode so that's really nice let's see how they are bumping to, bumping into each other system works yeah good enough physics -y. yeah you give them a bit a bit of a nudge do they all get the boost as well i think they do there we go we got nitrous oxide come on go it's a little bit laggy actually Mm, I think that that's got to be a, a, a game problem, not really with my phone, because like it's a pretty good phone. Three gigs of RAM should be a pretty good phone, and um, stop down here to one. I think should be good enough. But um, yeah, that's yeah. Nah, the lag is going away. This is good enough. This is really good. Yep, looks like slow motion right now. I guess the FPS is a bit low. Maybe, not sure, but um. Holy crap, what happened there? Someone got knocked out. We, we actually had a takedown. See, it is trying to be like born out. <laughs> okay. Um, you can change views. Oh, sweet. You have a cinematic view? I know the driver game has always had a cinematic view. But you can unlock it or something if it does have it. But it's just that two views. Airborne and overtake. It is trying to be like born out. I know you kind of born out though, but um, yeah, cool. Cool boat racing driver game. And I like that. Um, the boat actually has this this color that driver games always had. That uh, color muscle car. But yeah, almost there. Cool. Let's get into the menu and um, let's hope the tutorial's finished by now. Uh, I'm going for a while. We got some rewards. They didn't really pay attention to what it was, but um, yeah. Okay. Uh, three kinds of ship parts can be con. Oh yeah, I loaded really quick. I couldn't read it, but that's not a problem. Okay, new area. We can go to Miami now. Oh man, the tutorial just goes on. I just want to check out the game, guys. Come on. <sighs> yeah, the tutorial just keeps going on. But yeah, as you can see, there's... Like I was saying, oh, that's Tanner. I think he's the, the protagonist in the games. I believe so. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, as you can see, there's a gold bar up there. That's got to be the microtransaction only currency. This is going to be the one that you can earn in-game. Or you can buy, and this is going to be the crappy timer one. <laughs> they're all crappy if they're, if they're buyable, but you know what I mean. That's the one that hijacks your gameplay. Yep, that's pretty much... Those kind of microtransactions are pretty much why the gaming industry kind of laughs at mobile gaming. And kind of like says, oh, you guys suck. But yeah, there are a few of us that hope that uh, it'll, it'll get better for mobile gaming. But uh, let's hope it does actually someday. You know, some developers are actually pushing the boundaries and doing good stuff. I uh, really like the graphics in this one. I can't say that enough. The way they animated the water and that. <laughs> you can just watch that all day, really. I'm not kidding. It's really nice looking. Uh, I really wish there's a weather system. There might even be. That would be even better. But um, yeah, that'll that'll. Yeah, I, could, I just felt my phone. It's really getting a bit warm. But that'll really heat it up with some particles in the in the sky. Actually, some particles. Actually, speaking about it, you can see some uh, wisps or whatever, fireflies, whatever that is. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, let's go away. Use one full nitro. We got a reward for that. Oh, we, take, we took that guy down. Okay, so when you hit people hard enough, they just get, get taken out. Look, at, I just realized the boats in front actually make their own waves. Holy crap, that's really cool. That is really cool. Let's, let's go behind this guy and check that out. Okay, we can break a bit. No, actually not. He actually makes his own set of waves. That's really nice. Come on, go closer. Let's see this. Yeah, look at that. He actually has an influence on the waves on the water. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. Really nice. Like, a game like this, like, if they if they work on a game like this and polish it nicely, make sure it works, and then add a really nice multiplayer aspect to it, like a real competitive online multiplayer somehow, with like a ranking system and stuff like that, and kind of like sell it for like $15, $20, it might be a good thing to buy, like, that's how I hope mobile game will become someday and drop the microtransaction crap. Like, actually sell games, full games, without microtransactions for a fixed price. Look at the waves here. It's rough. Nice. Oh, man, that looks so good. Hey, stop nudging me, man. Nitro again. Took him out. Nice. Yeah, as I was saying, yeah, you really wish mobile gaming could actually take itself seriously. And just give full games and without the crappy microtransactions. I really hope that's how it 
torrent someday. You know, even if you give a demo version, a free version, and then you can pay for the full version, that's a great model, you know. But of course, microtransactions where all the money is nowadays, everyone's buying into that. And um, we're clearing this bridge. Yep, we can only hope for it to get better. But yeah, this is this is really promising. The graphics in this really nice, nice work by Ubisoft. Nice ways again. That's really cool. Airborne, we've got ship parts. Ship parts are nice. Oh, we're drafting as well. I didn't realize that we actually have a drafting system. Okay, interesting. And jump. Nice. I wonder if you can actually adjust the graphics in this. That would be a thing for, to, to check out. Settings. Let's let's have a look. Have a bit of a gander. These games with high graphics usually do have a setting sometimes. Um, music sound. No, no, no. Restore purchases. You can probably undo your purchases. Interesting. But anyhow, uh, let's get back to the game. Resume. You can actually retry using 10 more gas, but no. Okay. This is the last lap. We can repair our boat here. Um. Yeah, I think our boat actually had some damage, some dents in it and stuff. I think. Not sure, but we don't have a health bar. Maybe it's just a visual thing. Interesting, but yeah, we should be able to get second if we pass this guy. Come on, take him down. Finish line is right around this corner. Yep, we passed him. You just have to keep the lead. We need one of those nitros on the uh, jump. Crap, yeah, took us down. Bobby uses nitro. Yep, cool. Thorian isn't, isn't too bad. Good job, nice. Uh, Tanner saying something, we don't really care though. Um, so yeah, all in all, great looking game. Crappy microtransactions are present, so be aware of those. But surely you can't say that you, you won't have some fun with this, especially with the... What? Nope. Nope. Hate push notifications. Yeah, especially with the nice graphics in this. But um, what is this now? There are time challenges as well that you can do. Please don't put me to do one of those. Those kind of suck. But yeah, as you can see, hmm, finish one weekly race, one weekly tournament race, and you get... Uh, you get 10 fuel or you have to pay 10 fuel? No, you get, when I mean, you invite friends, you get uh, 500 cash in one boat upgrade, you get 500 cra cash, and you can, oh, I see, it's a, like a daily challenge kind of thing. You get a different challenge for, ah, crap. It's asking you to, to, to pay gold to, to change your challenges, and that kind of sucks. Anyhow, I think we're free now. Let's have a look at the microtransaction. Retrieving data. Need gold? $120, holy crap, for 1600 yeah, here's hoping it doesn't hijack your gameplay totally and make you have to pay. But yeah, as you can see, you can get good uh, parts and whatnot. It's obvious you can pay and get the best parts and always win. So yeah, it's kind of pay to win as well. Um, not sure. I doubt that it has a big multiplayer online aspect. Maybe like high scores and stuff like that. But um, yeah, you've seen microtransactions. You can probably buy some of this currency with real money as well. Yeah, yeah, this is the one we just saw. Another $120 for that. Then there's fuel. Let's see how much fuel costs, cause that's the one that really hijacks your game. Um, unlimited fuel. Now that's an interesting model. Like you pay a flat price, fifteen hundred gold. Okay, that gives you unlimited fuel. That's that's an interesting way to put it. Actually, let's go check how much fifteen hundred is. But if you have a demo game that has crappy microtransactions, but then you can play a flat price and get the full game with no microtransactions. Then that's a thing. That's a thing to consider. Wait, <laughs> did it say fifteen hundred gold? Cause that is gonna cost about a hundred dollars. That's a bit crazy and ridiculous. Yep, that's gonna. Yeah, that's not the way to do it, guys. You you're on the rightish track, but having to <laughs> making people pay fifteen hundred dollars for something that should be in this game anyways is ridiculous. It's gonna cost a hundred and something dollars to get fifteen hundred bars. Look at it. Yeah, let's not look at that too much, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's where the game developers need to get it right. They need to really work on that. But yeah, um, we've seen a lot of what this game has to offer. It has a lot of um, missions, a lot of uh, locations with different tournaments and a whole bunch of stuff. I guess you can. Is a lifestyle mode? Maybe you can buy houses and stuff. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, I'm gonna end the video now. Go check us out if you like. Free on the Android App Store with microtransactions. Don't forget. But um, yeah, link in the description if you like. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want more. Until next time, later.